Salvia spathacea, also known as hummingbird sage, is a herbaceous plant species with woody base in a somewhat sprawling habitat with upright flowering stems. It's a member of the large salvia or sage genus in the Lamaceae or the mint family. This fruity scented salvia blooms in March to May with typically dark rose lilac colored flowers. It is native to southern and central California, found growing from sea level to 2,000 feet. It grows in the California coast ranges from the Sacramento Valley to coastal Orange County, a common species that grows on the shady slopes of the oak woodlands, chaparral, and the coastal shade scrubs. Its green leaves are 8 to 20 centimeters long. They are oblong to almost arrowhead in shape at the base and have rounded teeth at the leaf edges. Like the rest of the plant, they are covered with hairs which make the plant soft to the touch. The dark red flowers are produced in clustered world 15 to 30 centimeters long and 6, six centimeters in diameter on spike-like stems with each node on the top half of the stem having flowers. It is ideal to plant hummingbird sage in full shade under oak trees and other dense foliage. The reproductive features of this plant are the pollen-bearing stamens extended beyond the petals. Then the pollinators, hummingbirds, pick up the pollen on their heads and bodies as they reach deep within the flowers to the nectar. Pollen is then deposited unintentionally at the next flower. The long stamens, tubular shape, and color of the flowers all suggest a long-standing, mutually beneficial relationship between the hummingbird and the plant. These plants have spreading habitat typical of the mint family. It is an evergreen perennial with herbaceous flowering stems from a woody base. They increase in size via rhizomes, which are underground stems and will ultimately fill an area if happy. In fact, they are one of the most useful ground covers in areas that are a bit shady. Hummingbird sage leaves also make wonderful tea, delicious jelly, and syrup. Native Californians also use this tea for colds and sore throats, and the plant produces mild antimicrobial chemicals. A warm bath with the leaves is used for rheumatism and other joint pains.